Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be continuing our discussion with the statistical functions as we started it in the previous video. And in the previous video, we um, saw the three single criteria statistical functions in Microsoft Excel. Now, if we just try to uh, revisit it once again, so the statistical functions are those which are used to calculate the data or produce the result only if a certain condition is followed or a certain criteria is matched. Now, uh, they are of two types, the single criteria and the multiple criteria. The single criteria statistical functions are sum if, count if and average if whose usage we just saw in the previous video where they are used to show the result only if a single criteria matches the given uh, information. All right. Now we have the multiple criteria statistical functions and as the name suggests, what are they uh, used to do? They are used to show the result on the basis of the multiple criteria. Uh, you know, there are some kind of a situations where you need to manipulate the data based on the different conditions. All right. So in this kind of a case, these multiple criteria statistical functions are the ones that come to your help. So they are of three types, which is sum ifs, count ifs and average ifs. Now all these three functions are self explanatory again, and they are only uh, used to perform the actions, which is already stated. That is the sum ifs function is used to find the sum of the data. The count ifs function is used to find the count of the data and the average ifs function is used to find out the average of the given data. Now, since the word ifs is included in it, which means it is used to uh, make a combination of the different of the if conditions. That is why they have been categorized as multiple criteria statistical functions as they are used to show the result depending upon the multiple criteria. So that is all about these functions that you need to know. And uh, now let us jump into their usage and understand that how can they be used. So here uh, we have our criteria table. These are these three criteria that are given to us and uh, we need to find their appropriate result. Now, if you see here, we have two criteria. We are given the days and the name criteria as well. In our previous examples, what we had was the days criteria or the data criteria only, which was a single criteria. All right. Now here, what we have, we have two criteria, the days as well as the name. Now these criteria are taken from this table, which is uh, comprised of three columns, the name column, the days column and the data column. So out of these, the days and the name column will act as the criteria array or the criteria range and the data column would be acting as uh, a corresponding uh, range or um, which is used to show us the result in the form of the sum range or the average range. All right. Now let us see its usage. So first of all, what we are going to do is put an equal sign and write sum ifs and put a tab. Now you can see that in our previous example, what we had this sum range was an optional argument. Now here this sum range is not an optional argument. Otherwise this sum range is a mandatory argument. All right. So here we need to provide the sum range. So what is our sum range? It is the data column uh, whose sum we need to find. So we are just going to select this whole sum range, uh, which is uh, this whole data column then put a comma and it asks for criteria range one and this is also a mandatory argument because at least one criteria needs to be supplied for the working of the sum is function but uh, again if you want to evaluate it on the basis of a single criteria then you got to use the sum function because its usage is much simpler than this one so our first criteria range is the days so just select this whole days column put a comma then what is our first criteria? Our first criteria is that the days must be equals to Monday. So within double quotes, write MON. Why we are using double quotes? Because this is a string value and close the double quotes. Then put a comma. Now, as soon as you put the comma, you can see that you have got some other arguments and these are in square brackets, which means these are optional arguments. And this is criteria range two and criteria two. 
and similarly we have got criteria range 3 and so on which means that we can supply it with as many criteria as we want but since our table is consisting of only three columns so that is why we are just using two criteria um, but if we want in this also we can use multiple criteria as well so uh, the criteria range 2 is going to be our names column so just select this names column put a comma then it asks for criteria 2 now what is our criteria 2 our criteria 2 is that uh, the name must be equals to sum so since it's again a string value provided in double quotes close the double quotes and just close the parenthesis and press enter so the result we got is 3 uh, let us just check this value for sum and monday we have got only a single data whose uh, value is 3 all right uh, and that is the answer that we have got now what if we just try to just change this to monday and press enter now as soon as we pressed enter you must have seen that this data has changed now there are two records of sam where the data is equals to monday and its total uh, data is four so that is why we have got the answer as four now similarly we need to find a count if the days are equals to monday and the name is equals to sam so just put an equals write the count if function put a tab and sorry count if function we need to write and put a tab so criteria range one what is our first criteria range that is this days column put a comma then the criteria which is nothing but monday uh, put it in double quotes again put a comma the criteria range two which is our names column put a comma and write the criteria which is sam close the double quotes close the parenthesis press enter so we have got the answer as two which is absolutely correct there are only two records where the name is equals to sam and the days are equals to monday now third is the average function which is just a simple extension of the sum if function and instead of the sum range we have this average range now you must have noticed that in the count ifs function we had no count range kind of an argument we had only the criteria range and the criteria this is because the count if is only concerned with the criteria and its range and not about what is the third thing that is like the sum range or the average range in the sum ifs and the average ifs function now if we just go to this average ifs function right averages put a tab the average range the first argument is mandatory so just this is going to be our average range comma the criteria range one which is going to be this days comma the criteria which is monday now these two criteria which we have set they could be interchangeable means you can write this names criteria first and this days criteria afterwards it doesn't really matter then the second criteria which is sam and press enter so we have got the answer as two if we just want to uh, tally the data then it's four divided by two for sum if uh, and count if and the answer is two so that is through two criteria but what if we have more than two criteria like only in this function uh, sum if days equals to one day and name equals to sum we have three and one so we need to only uh, um, find the data if it is greater than two then in that case we have three criteria so how can we find so let me first just write this criteria we need to count if days equals monday comma name equals sam and data is greater than two okay so this is our criteria now and for this we are going to just apply this count ifs function so how can we do that put an equal sign count ifs uh, put a tab now the first criteria is days equals to monday but since we can use it in any uh, fashion so first of all i'm just going to provide it with this data criteria put a comma what is a criteria range that it must be greater than two uh, close the double quotes put a comma now our second one is this uh, let's say name what must be the name the name must be sam 
close the double quotes put a comma then our third criteria is going to be for this days and then put a comma within double quotes you can write as monday and like this put an endo and we got the answer as one which is absolutely correct because uh, this is the only data which is greater than two and its count is one so that's why we have got the answer as one so that is all about the multiple criteria uh, statistical functions in microsoft excel and as you can see that uh, using these multiple criteria function we can use as many criteria that we want uh, for uh, applying these statistical functions now uh, this criteria has no upper limit that means you can use as many criteria as you want so that is all about these uh, multiple criteria function i hope you all have enjoyed it and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye